conference. Well, no, no, we're here. I've come all the way from Brighton to speak at this event. And I'm going straight back to Brighton afterwards. But I'm telling you, you're not going to get away with it. Well, from us and BCS. And solidarity to all the workers, including those PCS people, are right at the back as well. I want to make quite clear, there is nothing more despicable and cowardly than a government that brings in the minimum service levels bill that's going to force people to go back to work in the middle of a strike, in the, in the fire service, in the health sector, in the rails uh, industry, um, in the education sector, but also the border guards, the border officers, I do apologise, border officers. Because I can tell you what, that the border officers had very successful industrial action, especially during the Christmas period. I was standing there at Heathrow with John McDonald in the thick of the rain. And I can tell you now that we are hitting the government hard in those type of strikes, because they can't even get the soldiers to do the work at the customs to check people's passports. They need the border officers very badly. So what does it tell us, this minimum service levels bill? It means that the government are bad losers. They, cannot have, they do not have the guts to sit down and talk to the working people, the trade unions, and negotiate for our pay increase during a cost of living crisis. That's what it means. And it also means that the government cannot cope without the border offices and the many more strikes that have followed targeted action in the DWP and the passports office. We've had it for five weeks. That is having a damaging effect on the tourist industry for the government. It is hitting them very hard. And it goes to show that the government cannot even control its own workforce. That's why they're going to bring this bill in. But I'll tell you what, with this successful industrial action we've had, we've had a series of ballots. We've had 124 ballots over over 200 beat the 50% threshold. We've had those who didn't reach the 50% threshold, again, reballoting. And what's more is that they got over that and we've had bigger government departments out and we've had a third round of reballoting, very successful. 52% and 88% in favour of strike action. It goes to show that this round of fighting is going to continue, that we're going to go all the way, but I'll tell you what, let's smash this bill. And we can do it if we, all of us trade unions, it doesn't matter whether you're militant, moderate, extreme, we can stand together and smash this bill. Because this is a bill that not even the founder of one of the founders of the Tory party, Disraeli, would even dream. He brought in strike legislation, peaceful picketing, would you believe? The government is going to do even far worse. So it's time we stand together to challenge this bill and to challenge the sovereignty of Parliament. They cannot pass any law they like at the expense of the workers. Every other Parliament has got a Bill of Rights. This Parliament is just beyond belief. This is an anachronistic dinosaur. Let's go the whole way. All of us, the trade unions, the PCS, uh, all, uh, RMT, Unite, GMB, Unison, all of us, teaching unions, education unions. I, I haven't got time to mention every single one, but we stand together and I say solidarity, sisters and brothers.